Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the sub subscriber right now. Let's go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all. So I'm ripping new banger and new exclusivity you will definitely be notified. Let's talk about the Hunter Bronze Bomber Water. By the way, it is fight week. Um, 5v5 Matron Boxing versus Queensbury. We know these two people, these two promoters, Eddie Hearn and Frank Warren, have been basically rivals for a very long time. Not just that, it got to the point where hate began to crawl in between. The two camps we had moles we had box tibers we had a lot of things we had you know those guys never spoke for 14 years can you imagine it can you believe it it's just so crazy and now you have wado who who man he who him and he went really cool then uh captain in captain in the 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 the, the ship the of uh, matron so that makes these very very interesting it makes it very exciting and it makes it like really um amazing in a way now let's talk about the Antiwara himself and let's look into his soul so water lately has been very vocal about what he can do um about what his motivations are what he plans to achieve in the sport where he sees himself and why he why the flame is back so while i've given a couple of interviews you know in riyadh he spoke about usik fury fight saying that fury was saved by the referee it was a gift basically and if you look at it in a way he might be right he's, he i think he is right no he might be right he is very right because fury looking back at it should have been stopped by the referee that fight was basically like um uh, uh that fight was basically a fight that Usyk should have won by a KO. Fury was completely out of his feet. He was he was gone. Now Deontay Water. Is he back? Is Rewater back? Well, it's a big question. He says he's back, but I when I look at Water's facial expression, I look at his emotion, I look at how he speaks. The flame is beginning to come back. But still not yet there. I don't know if the flame, if the flame comes back against Janjali, because it's not easy to knock over forty people out. You have to have got power to do that. Even though they might be the biggest bomb in the world, you have to have got power. You have to have that power to knock over forty people out. Men, grown men. These are not uh, babies, or these are not like. Uh, uh teenagers you know these are grown men including his own trainer right now Mali Scott whom he knocked out Wilder no doubt has one of the biggest right hand in the history of the sport you know I think that that has also been his downfall in a way because then he doesn't see that basically he doesn't didn't prepare for other possibilities outside that right hand but also you have to also look at the fact that maybe that right hand is what he was born for maybe he wasn't born to be this creepy boxer with the all, the all the technique in the world maybe it was born for you to outboss him and then he catches you with that right hand and you're gone some people are just like that and as years goes by, 
I begin to appreciate Wilder for his contribution to the sport, for what he brings to the sport. Forget about the body on the record stuff, you know, comment, you know, Wilder is just a fighter. And also, let's keep it right here. These guys actually go in, in the ring with the intention of actually, you know, shutting the lights out of each other. When you shut someone lights out, the person can either recover or stay unconscious, recover later onwards, or person DIE. It's just what life is. It's just what boxing is. Boxing is not a soft man sport. It's a sport that is filled with blood, gods, and glory. And once you get the victory, that knockout it is very sweet who would have thought water would be on a team team matro never thought so but let's hear from water by the way and how he feels about the upcoming fight against john delay and let's read read his is his soul from here i've been a i've been a natural born leader it's a pleasure to be the captain and uh, it's a responsibility that I'm so familiar with. I like the pressure, but it's no pressure. There's gonna be two powerhouses in there trying to knock each other out. At the end of the day, nobody wanna see a 12 round fight when it comes with the heavyweights. They come to see the big boys, and when they come to see the big boys, they wanna see somebody get knocked out. Plain and simple. It's gonna be a, a, a interesting fight while it lasts. I've had pressure on my back ever since I was born. I've been a, I've been a. Well, that is water. Basically telling I'm back you. now. I didn't have the, the desire, I didn't back. have the flame. Well, the old Deontay is back now because of the people that is involved. We want that bronze bummer, we want wild man. And these are direct words that's been said to me. So when you get that told to you, and you say, you, I can be me, I can be free, I can say what the f I want because it brings that fire and desire back in my heart. So the nice, the nice guy is gone, Eddie and the old Deontay's back. On the captain's pick, you need to pick your banker. And this is a tough fight. You know, I saw the, the bookies odds, they have Zile Zanga favorite. I don't, but you know, those conversations that Deontay talked about was, you know, I was in the room. Yeah. And it's okay to be a savage. Mm. It's okay to be Bro, I, I still can't believe that Hearn and Water are teaming up against Frank Warren, bro. Can you believe it? Like, I know there's just a one fight, but there's something that amazes me in a way, though. It's amazing because if you know the history of both guys, and I didn't even know that Warren got shot, I had no idea that Frank Warren was going down, basically, and survived, he was on life support in a way. This was during the during the beginning of the rivalry between him and Barry Hearn. Can't believe that, bro. And it's crazy though when you look at it. But looking at Wilder's recent interviews and stuff like that, you know, him saying that, listen, he's doing this for the sport of boxing, for himself, for his family, for his kids, not for money, which I understand. I think Wilder doesn't do, he's, he's not boxing for money. Water is boxing for something bigger than money. This is why that flame, when it went off, we all kind of felt it in a way because I was one of those guys that didn't like Water's uh, trash talk and stuff like that. I was like, why do you need to trash talk before you fight, basically? But now that I don't understand Water, Water needs to be a, that trash talker, that guy that talk talk, that guy that talk a lot of crap before fight that gives him that motivation that that flames like it make it, it makes him a more dangerous fighter when he's that mode compared to when he's this nice guy thing because water generally is a nice guy personally i heard he's a nice guy i don't know him personally but i heard he's a nice guy it's just that that bronze mamba is a different kind of beast but that bronze mamba has has been missing for a long time now he says the bronze bubble is back and he wants to become undisputed i don't know how that plays out though because there are so many things to look into when it comes to undisputed the fact that usik 
uh, his belt IBF might be stripped from him. Of course, he's requested a uh, requested for exemption, but I think he will be stripped. IBF don't play about Egovich or Joshua or Dubois will fight for that belt um, September or something. And then, well, we can reunite the belts again. The winner of Fury, Usyk. And then go for the Joshua fight. If you seek wins, go for trilogy. So Fury wins, you know, that's a bigger fight definitely for sure. Um the UK. It's kinda crazy though. Uh it makes things very interesting. Fury Division needs water. And written into water so he is coming back. Forget about the age. He is coming back. And I believe that um when he comes back, I think we boxing fans shouldn't shouldn't complain anymore. Because Wada is a big is a big name, and it he adds a lot to the sport of boxing. Yes, John Lee is what a lot of fighters. John Lee come from an environment where Chinese, uh, you know, the Chinese uh, society is different, very calm. They are very quiet. They have, you know, they have collective in a way it's different they don't do trash talk in china basically but in order for the every division to excel in order for the every division to kind of prosper you know you need characters like water you need it it's a must you need characters like water you need characters like fury we need those people we need them because if everyone just just if everybody were to be mr nice guy then the division wouldn't be excited because anybody can fight but not everybody can really put on a show and Wilder puts on a show is one you have to respect but I'll break the fight down um uh, me and my brother will break the fight me and my brothers will break the fight down uh, a day before the fight or something and this fight week guys uh, is kind of a crazy it's gonna be crazy and I'm looking forward to this looking with very for this can't believe that uh june 1st is around the corner wow amazing so guys give us a below like if you subscribe if you want to water it says it's back for june 1st we are going to see looking at his facial expression looking deep into his soul that flame is coming back and it's going to burn a lot of people along the way can't wait. Little bit. Cheers.